America's Next Top Model, here I am. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog channel and thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. So I'm kind of whispering right now. Um, Sam is on a conference call with like all the executives at his company basically. And so I've been tasked with keeping these animals quiet and it's not going well, but whatever. Why do your claws have to be so loud? Just stay in one place for a few minutes. It's gonna feel good, okay? You're gonna be good at it. All right, so I got a couple things from Amazon and one of them was I've started eating avocados more. They're so good. All right, let me let him out. But I started eating avocados now and they are so good, but they don't last, you know, very long. I cut up my avocados in the last video and so many people were like, you are doing that wrong, watch a video. And I was like, you guys, I know. That's why I watched a video. That's how the girl in the video showed it to me. But now I know how to th the proper way to cut an avocado. But I got this little thing to hold the other half of the avocado. I thought I got... I thought I got six, but they're clear because that's cute. They look like rocks glasses with a handle on them. Okay. These are, I wanted basic coffee mugs, okay? Normal coffee mugs that were bigger than the ones we have. So we have these like sets of like bowls and plates and stuff that came from Target off of our registry. And the cups are so tiny, you guys. They're like made for like eight ounces of coffee. I'm like, ooh, like you have to fill your cup up like seven times to get what I get in a day. Just kidding, but not really. Um, so I wanted to get these. I believe these are like 13 or 14. They're 13 ounces, okay? So our Keurig makes 12 single cups. That's its largest. It does 8, 10, and 12. So I wanted at least 12. These are a lot bigger, and I just like the clear. I think they're really pretty. So that's all I got from, oh, no, wait. It's definitely not all I got from Amazon. I knew there was something else in here. I also got more silicone little Ziploc baggies that are reusable, or I don't think, I don't know if they're silicone, but they're like reusable Ziploc bags that are also like freezer safe. These are travel store, travel safe for storage, freezer safe, leak proof, waterproof, eco-friendly, BPA free, PVC free, lead free. Got some of those too. I think a bunch of different sizes. There you go. Okay. So that's all for this vlog. I actually have to finish getting up tonight's vlog. Look, my husband does exist, you guys. Boys won one out. Did they? Yeah. Made it to the Simop German Cup. One of them's freaking broken. It's annoying. You wish, so what you need to do since you blew this box open is make sure I actually not, did. The box came like that, which is probably why it's broken. Make sure there's not a shard of glass somewhere that one of the animals can step on. I'll look. Um, okay. That's all I got right now, but I gotta go finish uploading tonight's vlog and then tomorrow we are going to TKK. Hey guys, oh my gosh, what a day. So I got started pretty early this morning. We left the house at about 8.45, drove to TKK, um, and then met up with my sister-in-law. We got to eat at this adorable little luncheon place. Um, which is where her ultimately like her bridal luncheon will be but I told my mom I'm like so frustrated So you know how in your head when you like have an idea of how the day is gonna go and you think it's gonna go like that And then it just completely doesn't or you think like a situation is gonna go a certain way and it just doesn't It just throws me off so like I fully planned on going to this place today Hindsight's 2020 definitely should have called but I planned on going to this restaurant today and we went and it was delicious. It was so cute. We found where we want to actually have the bridal luncheon in this restaurant and the manager wasn't there. And the manager is the only one who can approve like parties of that size um, and approve reservations because they don't take reservations on the weekend, even though Friday isn't technically considered a weekend. Like a Friday at 11 o'clock is not a weekend. Um, so I have to call tomorrow. But it was so good to go and see the place. I had no idea. The whole reason we drove was because I couldn't see pictures online. Like none of them looked accurate. The place looked really, really small. And there actually was an outdoor area. And I was like, that's perfect. It's like a little blocked off area. It's covered. It has a fan. I was like, that's perfect. So I'm so glad we went, but I'm just like frustrated because I really thought no today if that's where the bridal luncheon is going to be, but it's not it's fine but we got everything else so we know that that's where we want it we just have to confirm the booking tomorrow when the manager whose name i did get um when we call her 
we got the favors figured out, the table decor figured out for it. Um, we know who's coming. I'm doing them similar. I'm doing like the decor similar to my wedding decor because we still have all of that stuff. And I'm gonna buy the same little wooden name cards that we got for our wedding for the bridal luncheon because those also work as a cute little favor. They're gonna be so, so cute. So. I'm really excited, but I'm just like frustrated in a way because I'm like, oh, like I should have called, but at the same time, like I just want to make a reservation and I really thought it was going to go like that and it didn't. Things, you know, th the world doesn't stop. Um, so I just got home. I have got some packages I got to open up, but I'm going to open the packages more for you guys today because I have some really cute things like an Urban Outfitters sweatshirt. Um, I got jeans in from Walmart. So I'm going to go ahead inside now and kiss my husband and open up some packages. So something else I'm leaning on my bed, which is why I look funny. Um, I'm going to share this stuff with you guys, but one other thing I want to know. So I like will never do my wedding series again. I hate talking about my wedding now in terms of like planning. Like when someone asks me planning advice, I'm like, please don't make me go back to that time in my life. Like every conversation I had was consumed by wedding stuff. Every, it was, ugh. so I won't talk about that. But do you guys want to know what I'm doing to plan the bridal luncheon? Like, do you want to see that kind of stuff here? And also, are you interested in seeing? So I'm making these like, I, I'm calling it like a bridal box, but that's not really what it is because it's not just for my sister-in-law. Hold on one second. This camera's crooked. We'll come up here, Sasha. Um, so my sister-in-law and my brother, there are just some things that like I didn't do for my wedding. And I was the most prepared. Like you can go to my main channel and watch my wedding planning videos. I was so prepared for our wedding, but there were certain things I didn't do. Like I've never had to be the person who like whitened their teeth, um, but I, so I didn't do it for my wedding. I just used whitening toothpaste, but my husband did whiten his teeth. Um, for the wedding day, I wore like uh, flip flops. I wish I would have had slippers. Um, so I'm gonna get them those kind of things. Like I'm buying my sister-in-law Olaplex for her hair um, because if I knew now what I knew then, I would have been using Olaplex leading up to my wedding just cause it does like healthier hair obviously just looks better. Um, so I would have used that. So I'm gonna get her some Olaplex and she has blonde hair. So I'm gonna get her some purple shampoo and just like a bridal box. But I'm also gonna get some stuff for my brother too. Is that something you guys wanna see? I don't know. But anyway, I know. Um, can I help you, ma'am? Yeah? All right, so for what I got today, let me talk about the products first. So I bought Kupari deodorant. This is the coconut scent. It's like the original scent. I think I saw they have a second one out now, but this is like the OG and I'm out of deodorant. So I grabbed this one out of deodorant. So this is a replenish. I think almost everything here is a replenish. So this is the Kupari. It, if you don't know um, about how bad deodorant is for you, just Google it. It's terrible. Aluminum specifically is so bad. And there's so many different versions out there. Um, Kopari, so this is really odd to say. So Kopari used to not work for me. So I switched to native um, and it's good too, it's fine. But the reason Kopari didn't work for me was because I didn't go through the detox phase long enough. And fun fact, actually when I worked from home last year, I didn't wear deodorant at all. Like I made a point to like really let my body detox from that. And so I went through the detox and now it works fine. Um, and again, just like look it up because the detox is kind of confusing too, but it's basically like your body has to get rid of all that deodorant and like all those toxins that have built up in your armpits. So like you're going to sweat for a while, but so replenish. Um, I also had to replenish on my dry shampoo. I literally used the last of it today. So I got both of my faves, the Living Proof PhD dry shampoo and the Way Super Dry Shampoo. You can get the both from Sephora. I don't think you can get either at Ulta. I could be wrong about that. I think you can get Kapari at Ulta, but I think you have to get both of those from Sephora. So these can go here. And then I also got this sweatshirt. So one of my, um, a girl I follow on Insta, she, her name is Katie. She is literally the sweetest human being ever. She just recently announced she was pregnant. Um, she's blonde, so gorgeous. I'll link her Insta handle right here. You guys should so check her out. She is like the cutest thing. She actually lives so close to me, um, or will live close to me once she finishes building her house. So this is a sweatshirt from Urban Outfitters that she recommended. She has it in like the lime green color and I loved it so much. It looks so comfortable. 
and it is so comfy like I can already tell. It's like a one size situation, which I'm not crazy about, but um, I like the tie-dye look of it. So I got that and I will try this on in one second. I'm also gonna try it on with these. So these jeans are from Walmart. You guys, if you have not tried the Free Assembly line, their stuff is so good. I now have a couple dresses from Free Assembly and this is my third pair of pants that I have bought from the Free Assembly line at Walmart. The only thing is I am a six across the board in jeans and I had to go up to a 10 in these. So I got an eight in my skinny jeans that I have from them and they fit fine, but there is zero room for wiggle. So like when I first got them in, this might be TMI, I was on my period and I legitimately could barely button them because I was just super bloated. And of course, when I was off of it, they fit fine. There's just no room. So like, I don't love the fact that I like couldn't wear one when I'm on my period. So I sized up to a 10 in my other two pairs and they're really, really comfy and actually fit a lot better. So the sizing in the jeans is slightly off, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal because the jeans are like $27 and the quality is amazing. So I got some boyfriend jeans that have busted knees. I'll show you guys these in one second, but I gotta go put all this stuff up. I just feel so frazzled. Cause again, like I thought I was gonna book that place today and I have to wait and call tomorrow. Ugh. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be such a funny looking outfit, but look at how cute these jeans are. So the only thing is <laughs> I noticed when I put them on, the rips do not line up with my knees. That's a little odd, but they are so, so cute. And this is the regular length and I'm five foot nine. So I could like definitely roll these up a little bit. They look so cute on, I mean, really comfy. Um, but this is the sweatshirt and obviously I would not like, this is not a look so fashionable. America's next top model. Here I am. Okay, and then this is the sweatshirt. I totally, totally understand what she was talking about now. Like she said, she wears hers every day. You guys, this is the softest of soft. I don't think I've ever had a sweatshirt this soft. And it's like really oversized. Like completely covers my butt, would be great in leggings. Um, I'm obsessed and seriously, like I think it came in three colors. I think there was an orange as well. Definitely gonna go buy them. This is like ridiculously comfortable but this is my vibe this is my outfit so fabulous <laughs> all right friends my slack little butt has not been vlogging the last couple days but i wanted to make sure i closed this one out i just got done filming a video so i gotta clean up edit hopefully get this up by tonight thank you guys so much for watching go below and click the subscribe button if you're new here i'll see you in our next vlog